And yes, we are changing our life now And when life give us lemons, we turn into vengeance We're strong in the Lord and His might now All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same All the wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain And the people that I love, they think that I've gone insane When it gets gritty and looking real iffy, they pull up and show how they fail It's only a few to stay true and some tripping Angel, if you got no clue when you slipping It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning Oh, that is filled with the thing that's forbidden Walking in life and I move with no vision I'm moving like fuck to my mind, steady swimming, swimming. Oh. Y'all already know what time it is. Yeah. You know what time it is. Yeah. You're yeah. now tuning into another edition of TFT Radio, the final trumpet radio show, man. Glad to be back with another edition. On my right, I got... Hey, Officer Aton. On my left. Officer, you want to... To my far right. Officer, you want to thank y'all. To Yashirala. my far left. Officer Marshall. And this is the final trumpet radio show, man. Y'all know what time yes, it is. Hey, look. As always, there's a lot going on in the news, man. There's a lot going on in the news. But real quick, what y'all think about Bishop Clash yesterday, though? Huh? Crazy. Hey. Huh? It was crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, like, crazy. Hey, do the caption my word. word. That's crazy. Shout out to caption my. <laughs> That's all you can say, bro. You know, everybody crazy. was like, everybody was taking notes. But I will guarantee you, you had to be sitting there thinking like, hold on, wait a minute. So the heathens, they're going to build up the walls. But the other walls, are, how they gonna get that high? <laughs> <laughs> Not possible. Two different, two different walls being spoken yep. of right here. So yeah, you know cold. that was heavy. You know what I'm saying we ain't gonna get into it because I know we. I still got some studying to do. I got <laughs> right. questions, Bishop. Right. I got questions. You know what I'm saying we gonna uh, we gonna we gonna continue on learning and growing in this truth and keep pushing. That's right. But in other news, we got these false, fake. Leaders in the black community that don't know what the hell is going on out here in the world. They don't know who to support. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't know to support whether to support their own people, whether to support <laughs> Hamas, whether to support Israel. They just confused all over, man. Right. Hey, was, they added it. It is crazy because it's the black leaders that that the world done picked or whatever, whoever they say. They don't. They ain't even together. How the heck the people going to figure out what to do if they can't even get on the same page? They got everybody lost. They're confusing. <laughs> right. So if you support Carnell West, you run to this side. Right. And what's the other brother's name? Uh, Van, Van, Van Jones. Van Jones. If you support him, you, they're like, well, Carnell West said, but he, so what, 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 are, we what, are, we, what are we doing? Which way do we go, George? Are y'all not, <laughs> yeah. are, are we not on the, are we not on the same team? Are we supposed to be on the same page? Like, that's the confusing with this uh, Republican and Democratic right, and right. all of these different political uh, statues they've set up in the community. This is why we're so confused. Right. But let's jump into some of this information that's out there. Let's see what's going on. Hey, pull up the first uh, clip of Mr. West. Let's see what the hell he's talking about. From a people for 400 years have been terrorized, traumatized, and hated, and we dish out love warriors and freedom fighters every generation, which means that we stand in solidarity with anybody who's occupied, anybody who's subjugated, anybody who's exploited, and that's why we focus on Gaza at this moment, because a genocidal attack is taking place. Yeah. Really? 
Really? Why, why you sound Ten like a, Why you sound like a Christian pastor, man? Because he man. is God. a Christian Dang, pastor. That's bro. how they all sound. But look at it. Look, pull him back up. Look at his face. Why he got to look like this? Pull, up, put him back on the screen. Look at his face, y'all. You know why? Why he look like that? <laughs> They so counting on him to do so that. Why he look like that though? That, that's the that's the black man that's gonna run for president. <laughs> He's not winning. Hey, <laughs> that is the face of confusion and confusing others. Right. He's trying to use his. Ex he's trying to express in his face how we should support Gaza. Unbelievable. How we should how we should you know uh, fall in, in solidarity with Gaza because they are going and they're experiencing genocide. Right. That's what he's trying to do. No words of the Bible. Yeah. It, and it, he cut himself because he had to admit that we've been uh, subjugated to genocide for over those 400 years. But now that it's another nation, and they ain't even going through it. No, right, bro, they, like, they, they, they ain't got right. nothing to do with them, man. Nothing. 400 years. They ain't even going through that 400 years. Right. right. Now they going, they, hey, they going through them bombs for about. Not even forty days, <laughs> right? Right? right. <laughs> Not right. even forty days yet. They have four four good days of bombs. Now everybody is like, "Oh, Gaza, Gaza!" Now play on. Let's play the rest of it. They ain't seen nothing yet. Play the rest of it. Let's see what he's talking about. Attack is taking place. Yeah. Ten thousand dead and four thousand precious children. And don't let anybody tell you. That because you love Palestinians and Palestinian babies, that you hate somebody else. Pause. It's just who, Pause. Is, who are you talking about? Pause. Is he trying to take shots at us? Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, hey. Huh? This brother. We ain't say that. We ain't say that. But, but that's what but people it, try to say. But that's what they try to say, bro. <laughs> that's what they try to say. Then he said 4,000 precious babies. Well, where was the preciousness when they was bashing your babies right. up against oh, the right. damn wall? Yeah, right. 4,000? 4,000? That 4,000 don't compare nothing to the millions of babies that these people have killed. No, right. what he's saying is, is we're not precious. No, right. exactly. exactly. Hey, to was him, we ain't precious. When we was going through those 400 years. Right. 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 Exactly. Where, 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 was that, where was the support from them when we was, at, when we was experiencing our genocide over here? Right. Our, our <laughs> babies being gator bait. Right. Nobody right. stood up for that. Yeah, they had, the Palestinians has more support with the white man while they were doing those atrocities yep. to us. Right, he said ten thousand dead. Right, right. Just think about these numbers: ten thousand versus two hundred million. Right, uh -huh. ten thousand. Yeah, you got a long way to go. May the bombs continue. Y'all yeah. got a long way to go. You know, <laughs> right. you, got, you ain't get, you ain't even close yet. You got you got a little ways to go. Well, we gonna sit back and watch. You know what I'm saying? Like you sat back and you watched our oppression, you watched our genocide. Black people better not be stupid enough to get involved right. with the support of these other nations. They should be trying to figure. They should be questioning what should we be doing right now. Right. 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 But that ain't in the, in the minds of no. black people. No. Bro, our sisters are so psychologically damaged. They're committing more murder against our own children Bring than the children in, in God. Right. Getting right. Out of exactly. Israel. Israel. But we're saying support somebody else. Right. But we won't even support ourselves. Exactly. Please. There, you go. Please. Yeah, there it is, right yeah. there. Hey. I like that, right? <laughs> hey, play on with Mr. West. Let's pick this apart some up. Come on, IT. Everybody tell you that because you love Palestinians and Palestinian babies. Well, hold on, Paul. Who love Palestinians? Because I know that. I know black women cannot say they love Palestinians. You don't right. even know Palestinians like that. How you love them? Right. They, ain't, they only got five or five. They don't even know they five. They can't name five, five on one hand. Black people can't even find Israel on the map. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Sheesh. Talking about you love. Don't let nobody tell you because you love Palestinians. Well, where are they? The only Palestine, Palestinian you know is the one that's that on the store they in your the neighborhood. On the store right. in your that's neighborhood. Right. And you may not know their name. Exactly. Play on. You love Palestinians and Palestinian babies that you hate somebody else. It just doesn't follow what our brothers are saying. We don't hate Jewish brothers. We don't hate Jewish sisters. We don't hate Jewish siblings. We loathe, we hate a vicious Israeli occupation. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? If you, if you hate... Uh, uh, what do you say? He hate a what? An Israeli, Israeli, uh, Israeli occupation. occupation. Well, damn. 
he ain't as a as a so called leader. He has done zero research in the history of his people and the occupation that these people have had in America since the founding right. Right. of this country. Cap brought out some heavy <laughs> stuff yesterday dealing with the pirates of uh, the pirates or was it the pirates that were on the seas? Right. Uh, mm -hmm. During during uh during the slave before this land was settled, mm -hmm. the first settlers of this country were so called Israelis. They were so called Jewish men mm. that came and, and settled this and land. They so they and they was the conquistadors. Yeah. Right. So and they so they've been here from the very jump. They have set themselves up and calling came here calling themselves uh Christians. Mm. Mm -hmm. Disguised as the hell is this? disguised as Christians. Yep. So what about this type of occupation? The the occupation that the Israelis have had in the slave trans in the in the, in the slave transport and the slavery of our people from the beginning. He don't know nothing about that. Hey, mm -hmm. the same we thing. Talk about that. The same thing that they're doing over there to the Palestinians, just slowly taking over. It's the same thing which America does to the Mexicans. Mm -hmm. they, built, they came here, took the land. Now they have built up walls and say, you can't come into this land. Yeah, they're, they're they an alien now. Right. right. You're an alien now. This, you, you, you can't make this stuff up. Go ahead, play some more. We loathe and we hate a vicious siege against Gaza. And the least he we can do get it out. He had, to, he had to think about going? it. He had to think about what they told him to say. All right, right, right. right. <laughs> don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this, don't up. Mess this hey, up. He can't get it out. Don't mess bro. this up, Negro. We need you to go and tell these black folks to support Gaza, goddamn. Right. Don't mess this up. He said, That's Gaza. <laughs> Siege. <laughs> Play on, man. And the least we can do at this moment of overwhelming barbarity now, overwhelming, we'll is have a ceasefire. Oh, yeah? And yet you got these cowards in Washington, D.C. talking about a humanitarian pause. Please get off the crack pipe. Wake up. See the humanity of precious Palestinian brothers and sisters. Hey, pause, man. Pause, man. Hey, this brother, it's amazing the depths of information that have, has been implanted in his mind that he can regurgitate up to be able to speak to, to the people to try to influence them. You know what I'm saying? With everything that we see going on, he is going to influence a small group of black people to fall in line with the thought process. Right. Like, how are you going to stop a cease? How can you bring a ceasefire to what's what, going what on? What laws in you going to pass? Exactly. Right. You can't do. We need to issue a ceasefire. That ain't in your control. Ain't no, got nothing right. to do with you. No. Hey, you know, he keep pushing that precious Palestinian babies. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, you know, those precious KKK babies. Exactly. Right. Those <laughs> right. people hate your guts, too. Right. Same. Right. Hey, give me that in uh, Amos reader. That's obviously manual on the reader. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> Let me get Amos chapter three and verse. You start. Let's read verse six. Yes, sir. Amos chapter three, verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Mm -hmm. Shall there be it be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? So we see what's going on over there. App uh, apparently. Carnell West is, he has been, uh, you know, you don't see him often. No. Nope. You only see him when he done got a check. He's been paid to go and do a speech. That's the only time you see these brothers. They are not in the community on a regular basis trying to help bring our community to, you know, uh, uh, give any sense or rec bring recollection in right. the community. They only come out when they get the check. Mm -hmm. When they that's got the nice. bag, that's when you see them. When they want to get black people on either side of the fence, mm -hmm. that's when you send in these men. Right. Where that nigga at? Pay these false leaders, they send them in at that moment. We got to persuade the support of the black community to go this way or that right. way. Mm -hmm. You do it. Exactly. We'll pay right. you. Exactly. Read that again, officer. Yes, sir. Verse 6. <coughs> shall a trumpet be blown in the city? So shall a trumpet be blown. When a trumpet is blown, you know, the, the trumpet is blown to give the people warning. Mm -hmm. That's when the, tr the trumpet is blown is to warn the people. Read on. And the people not be afraid. Pause. The trumpet being blown. The trumpet is being blown right now. This is what? the final trumpet right, radio song. Right. This is the final trumpet radio song. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the trumpet, the horns, the trumpet, the the trumpet is being blown right now, what a, what a, man. Hey, you, you better wait. There you go. Thank you. You better wake it up, man. This, this is the trumpet right here. The word of God is the trumpet. Read it again, man. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city 
and the people not be afraid? Because war is at hand. Come on. There shall be shall shall there be evil in a city. All right now. All right, reader. All right. All right, all right, now. All right. Let's read it again. Shall there be evil in a city? Uh huh. And the Lord have not done it. So what we see going on over there, we would say, that's evil. Look at the evil that the Israelis are bringing upon these people. 10,000 dead. More than 10,000 now, I'll praise to the Most High. I think it's like 12 to 15. I'll praise to the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? 4,000 babies, probably close to six right now. I'll praise to the Most High. All that's, all that's of God. The Bible says, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? What are you going to do to bring a ceasefire? If the Lord is making right. this happen, God Nothing. already said it. Nothing. God already done put it in motion. You think you gonna stop it, brothers? Just... Nigga, please. Nigga, please. That's hey, I love that sound bite right there. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, read on hey, the verse yeah, seven. Yeah. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. God ain't gonna do nothing. God looking at you like cease what fire? <laughs> nah, bring the fire is coming. Right. The fire is coming. There's gonna be more fire and more fire and more fire. Until the earth is cleansed and, re and, and replenished with the rightful rulers and owners of the earth. Right. That's what's going to happen. Read it again. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. Uh -huh. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the saints. So we, the servant, to his servants, the prophets. So we're sitting back because we're the servants. We're the prophets. Right. You know what I'm saying? We see what's going on in Gaza and we're like, you know what? All praise to the most high. All right. praise. You know what I'm saying? It's time to go out. Continue to gather the people, right. continue to push this word and resurrect our people that are lost and that are swaying sides with Carnell West and this uh, and this other brother that we're about to pull up. What's his name? Uh, Van, Van Jones. Jones. Van Jones. And then, but then you say that those secrets is going into Hey, turn the turn off some mic up. You're a little low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Those secrets is going into the parables in the Bible. He's going to reveal the understanding of what's going on in the world to his prophets. Uh -huh. And then his prophets is going to give... Right. The, the true program of the Most High when it comes to this situation going on in, in Israel and yep. Gaza. That thing is heavy, man. Not no damn, what's his name? Uh, Cornel, Cornel West. West. Hey, you know they ain't not, they not leaders because you know, you can barely pronounce their damn name. Right. Right. Like, where you, we haven't seen you in since uh, Freddie Gray or something like that. Like, right. <laughs> where have you, where have you been? They we always get dispatched. Yeah. Right. At, get, at times where the, the black population doesn't have any business, like we just said earlier, we don't have no business in this. No. So now they got to send out the taskmasters to make uh, uh, our community choose which way they're going to go. Yep. Right. That way they can sway the elections they that's coming. They got running for president. Man. Right. Bro. That is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, go, so go back to, go back to uh, Mr. West. Go back to Mr. West. Because we want to show the different sides. You got Carnell West saying one thing, and then we got... Uh, Van Jones, what's his name? Van, yeah, Van Jones. Say Van opposite. Jones, he's going to say some totally opposite. All right, play the rest of that. And the American Empire has the nerve in this building to veto a humanitarian pause with our precious present Palestinian brothers and sisters precious. being bombed. What kind of country are we? When wow. have they considered Woo. us precious? <laughs> when, <laughs> when have they, he said our precious brothers, Palestinian brothers and sisters. When, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Hey, how? Hey, didn't writer in Columbia, one of them shoot? One of the yes. black yes. brothers at, yes. the, at the, the stove. Hey, hey, shot he him in went the in back. There to shop, didn't steal nothing, and he got shot. But we all of a sudden, so that child wasn't precious, right? Hey, but hey, they all. Hey, it right. find that. Hey. Fi uh, pull right. up the article with the brother, Come on, man. the brother that was just, shot and just, killed here in uh, in, right uh, in Columbia. He said, "What type of country we are?" Right. Hey, right. I'm so it. glad that <laughs> the Most High awakened us in these last days. Give me Matthew 24 now, yes, sir. Hey, why you why 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 the reader get that? Pull up the article with the brother that the young the young brother that got shot. It was, okay, all right, all right. It was different. All right, different nationality that did that. Yeah, same damn uh, uh, <laughs> attributes, but we why always he didn't the speak. Why, but we ain't hear from. Him. Yeah, right. but even though it even though that was a a different uh, nationality, where was the support from the Palestinians when that happened? Right. right? That was the, they, they didn't stand they, up for us then. And they still own the store right. around the corner. You don't see you don't see no Palestinians standing up when mm. we're shot down in the streets. Not at all. Mm. Not one. Not not one. Hey, and he said this country like it's ours. Right. You know what yeah. I'm we slaves in this country. Right. So let's show them what type of nations these other nations are. Read that. 
Matthew chapter 24, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Hey, he done forgot about the 400 million um, people that done died. 200 million uh, Hispanics, 100 million of our people, over 77 million uh, Native American Indians. He done forgot about that type of genocide. But we'll cry over a few thousand. Hey, they del deliver us up to be afflicted on a daily basis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Read. And shall kill you. And they'll do what? Kill you. They ain't got no problem killing black people. And you don't see these other nations coming to save us. Right. They, they, they don't come up and have no big uproar about us. Right. Read. And ye shall be hated of all nations. We're going to be what? And shall be hated for of all nations. For That's why they don't come. We hate it by all nations. But we're being persuaded to care and love for everybody else except ourselves. Right. Right. And you see how the doc, like that, that's doctrine. Like he's trying to push that. Yeah, right, right. and that's why they don't. That's why they don't like us when we show up because we ain't even telling our people to hate everybody, but we are telling them to love ourselves though. Right, right. And to do for ourselves. Everybody get mad and say, "Oh, that's hate speech." How come what he's saying ain't hate speech? Oh, because what not. he's saying is to go against one and choose the other. Exactly. That's hate speech. All we're saying is. Love yourselves, black people, right. Hispanic people, Native American people. Love yourselves. That's all we saying. That's hate speech. Right. It's crazy. Can but I get a script on what kind of country this is? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> bring, it, Mike, bring it out. Micah 2. Who's on them buttons, man? It's <laughs> Micah chapter 2. Because uh, destruction coming to America just like it's coming to the Gaza Strip. damn right. So let, let's go ahead and get there. What kind of country do we live in currently here in America? Read. What verse, sir? Verse 1. Yes, sir. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Uh huh. Woe to them that devise iniquity. So, when our iniquity had an end and we should have been let go from that slavery, they, they forwarded that persecution, that oppression. So, they devised much iniquity mm -hmm. against our people, killing, robbing, murdering, pillaging our people. Read on. And work evil. Upon their beds. And they meditate upon more and more evil to be brought upon our people. Taskmasters like Cornell West and Van Jones have been dispatched in our community as right. a part of their wicked devices. Read on. When the morning is light, they practice it. They put it on TV. Read on. Because it is in the power of their hands. So this country is in the power of the same oppressor that we recognize and that's fighting over our land. Read on. And they covet fields. They covet fields. So a part of this, what's going on in the Gaza Strip, they want that land. Right. right. Read on. And take them by violence. They took America by violence. They're taking our land by Should violence. They already took it. 70 right. AD happened. You, you right. see what I'm saying? They already so, did it. They, now, <laughs> but our country is hand in hand with the, what's going on over there. Read on. In houses. Go ahead. And take them away. Read. So they oppress a man uh -huh. in his house. Even a man and his heritage. So when it says they oppress a man, <laughs> now Palestine want us to side with them. Y'all understand what it means to be oppressed, so side with us. <laughs> and that's why they sent Cornel West out. Yep. So he's, he's saying this. What kind of country is this? The same one that will oppress everybody. <laughs> right. Right. That's what country right. we live in. They'll exactly. oppress everybody and take everything from everybody. Exactly. Right. And you were saying something else. What you were saying? I can't even remember no more. I don't know. <laughs> hey, but you I know, don't even know what you do. <laughs> you were saying, you, you, was, you was hitting on a point right there, but you just, just on... What you what you just read, it says they oppress a man, a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And they don't realize that why why they're experiencing what they're experiencing over there in Gaza mm. is because they have oppressed a man. That man that they have oppressed is the real Israelites. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They and and they've also oppressed the most high God. Because we are the Most High God's heritage. Right. The, the, the Israelites are the her, uh, the heritage of the Most High God. Right. You have oppressed God's heritage. Right. So you you think you're going to be able to cause a ceasefire? That's why I say right. when God you say it, yourself. ain't nothing you could do to stop it. Nah. He already done said it's going to happen. Nah, it's Not over with. Hey, play the rest of it. It's almost over with, with for, for Mr. West. Uh, Yeah. What kind of people are we? <laughs> if we send a message to Palestinian brothers and sisters and siblings in Gaza, you are not forgotten. We see you. We focus on you. We give attention to you. Wow. 
Hold on. I don't, where's Back the, that up where's again. Where's the attention for our people? That's right. why it, it it pisses me off. This is ridiculous. Because we won't give this same attention to our people. Though. Right. No. Literally. It's, won't say nothing about anything. It's like, oh, well, well just uh, they killed another one of us. Well, all right. Let's go make them pick up signs. And when they put them down, it's over. He says, we have not forgotten about you. Right. Man. You forgot. You, hold on. You know what? You want to forget about we slavery. Haven't, we haven't forgotten. No. We haven't forgotten. The Lord ain't forgotten. That's why you got getting what you're getting. <laughs> the Lord ain't forgotten. But he says, we haven't forgotten about you. When have we ever been tied to these people? Right. Never. Never. Except for when they had us in slavery and right. still have still our it. people in right. slavery right. today that's, in these in these Arabian countries. That's what I was going to go to. Hey, pull it. Well, Let's pull, go, Joel. Let's get it. We Let's haven't forgotten. It. The Israelite has not forgotten. That's why when we see these things happen, we understand it is of the most high and we mm. sit back and worry about our people. Joel 3. Let's go there. And uh, folk, first of all, we'll just start right there. Yes, sir. Joel chapter 3 verse 4. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Uh-huh. So these right here are your are your are your so your African nations or whatnot, your Hamites. Go ahead. And all the coast of Palestine. All the coast of who? Palestine. All the coast of who? Palestine. Uh-huh. So we talking about them now. Go ahead. Will ye render me a recompense? Go ahead. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily. Will I return your recompense upon your own head? So the Most High is returning recompense on their own head. Mm -hmm. Because they, what did they do? Go ahead. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. So they took everything that was given to us. Go ahead. The children also of Judah uh -huh. and the children of Jerusalem. So the children of who again? The children also of Judah. So that's, that, that's all of, that's your so-called Jamaicans, so-called African-Americans, your so-called Haitians. Mm -hmm. That's Judah right there. Then it says, who else? And the children of Jerusalem. That's your, that's your so-called Native Americans and Hispanics. So the Palestinians had their hand in all of that. And what did they do with us? Have ye sold unto the Grecians? We do remember you. Right. Exactly. We do right. remember exactly what you exactly. did. That's why we sit back and let God have his way with you. We ain't, what we going to do? Well, we right. can't do nothing about it. Hey, hey, watch this. Yeah, read the, yeah, we got to read the last part. Yeah. Read yes, on. Sir. My bad. Oh, praise it. Yes, sir. That ye might remove them far from their border. That's why we ain't even over there. That's why right. we ain't in our homeland. That's why we over here in America. Because they sold us to the very people. They're still oppressing us today. Yeah, we see you in our land. How about right. that? <laughs> right, right. We right. see you living in our land too. Right. Hey, watch this. Remember what we just read in Micah. Go back to Micah real quick. Go back to that in Micah. And then hold Joel chapter 3. You're going to get verse 2. Yeah, read it again. Micah chapter 2 verse 1. Come on. Woe to them that devise iniquity. And, and work evil upon their beds. Come on. When the morning is light, they practice it. Uh -huh. Because it is in the power of their hand. Yeah. Read on. And they covet fields. They covet fields. And take them by violence. Right. And houses. And what? And houses. Read on. And take them away. That's what you just read. They took, they yeah. took that away from us. Mm -hmm. Read on. So they oppress a man. They oppress a man. And his house. And his house. Even a man. And his heritage. Even a man and his heritage. Now go to Joel chapter 3, read verse 2. Joel chapter 3, verse 2. Come on. Mm -hmm. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Read. And I will plead with them there. So this is future prophecy of that's, what's going to take place that's, that's in that land. And this is what's going on in the land right now. Come on. And I will plead with them there. God is going to plead with you there. Read on. For my people. For my people, God says. And and for my heritage for his what and for my heritage so God's so the people is God's heritage when we go back to that in Micah he oppressed the man and his heritage mm -hmm. he's oppressing the heritage of the Most High God read and for my heritage Israel for his heritage for his heritage Israel read 
whom they have scattered among the nations uh -huh. and parted my land. What did they do? Parted my land. And they parted the land. So you wonder why you got the Palestinians who are in our land and the Israeli people who are in our land fighting because the Most High God is causing this. Mm -hmm. The Most High God is he, he's riling up the nations right now and preparing the way for our salvation. That's right. Preparing the way for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to come back because they have oppressed the heritage of the Most High God. So a ceasefire ain't going to do a damn thing. Right. Nothing. You can scream ceasefire all you want. That's God's fire that you're playing right. with. Right. That's and right. doing it for you, black man. Exactly. So and they, so the he's trying to rally the people to be on God's side. You better get on the side of this Bible. Right. That's Crazy as hell. Crazy as hell. Hey, play the rest of it. Let him, let him say the rest of his foolishness. <laughs> we poke some more holes in this garbage. I think that was it on him. That was, that was it. Is that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Remember. Now. They remember. <laughs> now. So... Colonel West is, he's pro Gaza. Right, right. He wants, he's pro Gaza. Ceasefire. We need to be, we need to remember our uh, precious Palestinian, Palestinian brothers, and brothers and sisters. And sisters. Well, let's see what this other uh, false fake leader is talking about. This brother, uh, Van Jones, right? Yep. Van Jones. I keep wanting to say Vancouver. I don't know why. Vancoon. <laughs> Vancoon. Van right. Yeah, exactly. Come on with that. Play that. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Gosh. Why you am look I here? Beautiful. You look beautiful. Shut the hell up. Why? why am I here? Yeah, why? I'm here because the horror you see the and the flags. terror yeah. that unfolded in Israel and Palestine have sent shockwaves far beyond their borders that affect and disrupt lives right here in the United States. Now, if you're not Jewish, you may not know this. But since October 7th, there has been literally an explosion of violence against Jewish people, attacks against Jewish people, uh, horrific acts of hatred against Jewish people. The FBI says it's been unprecedented, 400% uh, increase just in the past three weeks. So, uh, you, If you don't know that, it's because your social media algorithm is not telling you that. And you might want to ask yourself why. What does that have Once to do with you black know. people? Wait, okay, oh, wait, hold, on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Who controls the social? So, do a hey, it, it. Do I? I need y'all to find this before the he's done. <laughs> find me that screenshot of all the companies that the Jewish people run. Yes, mm -hmm. they control the algorithm. Mm -hmm. So the algorithm that he's talking about. Right, and the camera it, should be on on him. Come on, man, you. You can't make this up. Find the list of all the companies that the Jewish people control, the media that they control. Because for him to say that it's because your algorithm is messed up, it's because they messed it up. Mm -hmm. We don't they control, control the algorithm. They control all they that. control it. He's talking about. Oh, there it is. Right. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah hey, pull, pull that up. Pull that up real quick. That, and that's a small That ain't list, all of it. No, no, no. That's, that's a, a small list. One. There's a bigger list. But we'll rock with this for now. So they control all the major media outlets on the planet. So for him to say that the algorithm is not showing us all of that, well, they control the algorithm. Mm -hmm. We don't even control that. So for them to say that, that don't, that don't even make sense for him to even start like that. Right. Golly. Hey, go back to the yeah, go back to the video. I mean, they they run the media. They they could they created the media. The hell is this? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They control every aspect of television. Right. So what do you mean if you haven't seen it? They, there's somebody somebody's controlling you. The same people that you the flag that you're flying. They control it. Right. Mm -hmm. And they control you too. Play on. You, know, you cannot be silent. I don't want to be silent because the Jewish community, the Jewish community stood with the civil rights movement pause Stop. pause <laughs> gotta hit the new york pause on and i remember pause. i remember what was it ncaap in 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 they didn't do anything for us. No. They didn't do anything for us. They gave that same, the same platform he's speaking on 
for other races outside of his own, that's what they push now. He said that they supported the civil rights movement. Nah. In what way? Well, right? why are they trying to take civil rights away now? In well, yeah, but listen. Right. In what way did they support the civil rights movement? Right. Because every law that was uh, that blacks was fighting for equal rights and all right. they, they are the ones that control the political setup behind right. the whole thing. Right. right. So what? How did they support us? Because it, it, in society we've taken the, the the mindset that they've helped put things in place for us to prosper. Right. They put things at food stamps and what like we played the other week. Right. The uh what was it? The Wick, uh Wick, the, the WIC system, the uh public housing assistance uh yep. system. Welfare. All of that was put in place by them. Right. Right. That was put in place by them, which made our communities even more poor than we are. Right. And, and the black man gotta understand support and infiltration. Two totally yeah, different two, things. Two different things. Right. Two totally different things. They had to, had to send yeah, somebody in. Put to that get one the on intel. there while they're talking. Just right. put that one. Keep talking. Hey, we'll see, we'll hey, put it up there and show it while we're talking. It's amazing. It's amazing. No, you hey, play play on. We'll, we'll poke some more holes in it. Play play the uh the rest of what he, this video. It stood for the civil rights movement. Walking arm in arm. What? Facing death. Going to jail. <laughs> Oh hell no! Nah. Right. Hey. Stood with this the civil is, rights movement. This, hey. and I cannot. This the y'all. Am I the only one hearing this? Yeah, no, no, you're, you're not. not. No, you're, you're not. not. I think all of us are. He's making me sleepy. Hey, he said. Freaking oh, they went to jail with us. The heck out of me. <laughs> they marched with us, bro. Oh, uh, that that's that's how they infiltrate and divide us right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because these people are not going to jail with you. Right, right. These folks ain't going to jail. They will, they will help your ass go to jail though. Right, right. They will, they will make sure that you do something stupid at these rallies and put your behind in jail. These, these folks have never stood up for the community. Right. He's a puppet, just yeah. like Cornell West, mm. designed to come and influence our minds to stand behind these, these, these fake Jewish people, these false. Uh, Israeli people who stolen our land. So uh, the question is, go ahead. Why is he saying the opposite? Of what Cornell West is saying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He sounds like he's been castrated. Oh, uh, oh probably. Look, he has. Look, like hey, he's been castrated. Can, can we oh, get the evidence? Can, <laughs> IT team. We, we need the evidence. Uh, I just sent that to y'all not too long ago. Uh -oh. So I think this is why Officer A time got a little sleepy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. Who are we hearing from our brother? This this is our brother. He's uh -huh. bald headed, but what are we hearing come out of his mouth? Y'all got that IT? Yeah, I just, just had it up. I just had it up. Pull it up real quick. Let, let's put. Yeah, who are we really it. hearing? No, he, he posted a link. Yeah, it's on yeah, yeah, the yeah. show. Uh, not show run, but the main that picture. I just sent a picture over. It's coming through. Give me a second. Coming through. All right. Well, and, go ahead. Right, say what you were saying. Space. This is why we got lulled to sleep because we're not hearing our black. He's not. In that in that spirit of a strong black man, he's not sure. He's oh, not. Huh? No. Let, there uh, it is. Let's get the evidence. Uh, uh, evidence. Uh, Are we uh, hearing? Now, now, now we know. Speaking? Now we know why. Yes. Look, look at look at that smile on his face. You look, all right, officer? You know who is that? That is his <laughs> wife. You all right, officer? So we're this. hearing the white woman come out of the black man's mouth. You I bet you she's so called Jewish. I, I was look, I was trying to get the information, but everything was moving so fast. <laughs> hey, what's her name? Find out what his find out what his wife's name is, no. and hopefully you find this up. Hopefully he find this episode. Yeah, we do research. We, we do find that. out. You gonna get you gonna be find out, bro. You so let's get, get the law real quick. Nine, real quick. Seventy three. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's, yeah, get, let's the get the law. law. Let's get the law. Why are we hearing the white woman's thoughts out of the black man's mouth? Let's get Deuteronomy seventy three. Cause he ain't gonna get none when he get home. Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. She probably got his balls. Yeah, better say exactly what was written somewhere. for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 3. Go ahead. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. So we should not be making marriages with the other nations. And even with Cornel West, he was saying those precious, precious Palestinian, Palestinian babies. <laughs> not, not all the black women, they thinking to themselves, oh, I want my baby to have good hair like that. <laughs> Come Go on, ahead. man. Go ahead. Read on. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Go ahead. Nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. So these laws... Fix that broken mindset. These laws fix that. And that's what a lot of our people deal with, a broken mindset where we don't see the, the glory of our own people. That's why we go to these other nations. But read verse 4. Verse 4. Uh -huh. They will turn away thy son 
from following me. So these are the uh, nations. So 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 Van, he's somebody's son. He's right. somebody's son. He's somebody's son. Exactly. And if he had mm. the laws, it, it it fixes it, and it also protects you from your children getting that mindset. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's because that, they'll make the excuse. Well, my mother and father, I I, I come from a mixed household. Right. Now they confused. Right. Yeah. Read verse four again. For they will turn away thy son. So when these other nations know who they are, know what they stand for, they can make the black man and black woman change their mindset. Of they will turn us away from our culture and the heritage. That's how they rob us now. Thus says the Lord. Right. Read on. From following me. Go ahead. That they may serve other gods. Read on. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Our brother is mentally destroyed. He thinking he got some kind of step up in this world by being with the white woman. He is showing himself by the word of God to be destroyed. You don't serve your God. So you're definitely not serving your people at all. Hey, pull up Billy Carter. Pull him up there. Uh oh. Pull Billy Carter up there. Billy. Pull Billy Carter. We got oh, Billy. No. Yes, we got Billy Carter. Guess what? So that's that's, that's her, her that's her father right wow. there. Now we about to now it's about to get a little deeper uh -oh. as to why <laughs> as to why he's saying what he's saying and why he's married why he's in the position no. that he's in. Ooh, Rita, oh, can you wow. read who William Alton Carter is? William Alton Carter was an American farmer, businessman, brewer, and politician. Uh huh. The younger brother of U.S. President what? Jimmy Carter. These so so you know you already know how this operates. That's a pops. Yeah, that's her that's pops. a pops. That's who he married. That's to. who he married to. It looks like him. Good. Hey, you know what? You know what this is leading to. You know what I'm saying? You you if you sit in that political seat, if you're sitting in that political seat. Information is gonna be passed down. <laughs> y'all tripping, bro. Y'all. <laughs> hey, it was always a good He's spinning the image of her. <laughs> it was just like this crazy. Yo, yo, he said it all low and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. But you know, when you're in these seats, you know what I'm saying? There, there's certain, there's certain uh, responsibilities and power that's given to the man, right? Mm. All right. So he probably had a daughter. Well, obviously, he had a daughter. She didn't get sit in the seat, but right. influence still comes from right. that side. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So he's being influenced by her father's uh, right. through her through the lineage of her father yeah. because of the connections that they possibly have yep. right. being sitting in that in that presidential seat. Delilah. So it's crazy. It's and she's crazy. an upper echelon reject. Yeah. Let's not forget that. Exactly. She, she couldn't get any other presidents or lineage of the president. So she, they said, uh, let's go Dang. send you that influential nigga over there. Hey, he a smart Dang. nigga. He's going to graduate with a... Right. What, what school did he go to? I don't know. He's going to graduate. <laughs> and find out. He's going to graduate from such and such. He's going to be a politician and you should marry him. Right. Then pull him for... Then take him for everything he got. That's how it goes. That's simply how it goes. But nonetheless... Ugh. We know why he's saying what he's saying now. You know what I mean? Play on. Let's let's see what else. Let's see what else Esau got to say through his mouth. <laughs> Not be silent when Jews fall under attack today. I just can't do it. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm here. Now, whatever our different political beliefs and views are about what's happening overseas. You do not have to support all the policies of Israel to support and love and stand with all the people of Israel during a time of profound. Oh, no. precious people of Israel. That's hey, why I'm here. Which one is precious? All right, pause now. Pull up her grandfather. No. Oh, damn! Worse. <laughs> Pull up the. I'm, hey, we show. Hey, this is showing you how uh how these political ties run deep, bro. Mm. He ain't. That ain't him talking. And look That's granddaddy, it, daddy, and, right. and all the politicians mm. that came before her talking. Right. And uncle holding the shotgun at his face. Exactly. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Playing games. You play it. That's what's going on. Hey, pull up, pull up the grandfather, James Earl Carter. James oh, oh, oh. Earl Carter, her oh, grandfather. Zoom in and scroll down. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we can get the top right there. Just yeah, that's what they go, they go James right there. They go James Earl. Is that, is that Jimmy? Jeez. That's James Earl. That's Jimmy. That's Jimmy boy. That's Jimmy Boy. Read that. No, that ain't Jimmy. James no, Earl Carter Sr. was an American politician and businessman who represented Sumter County in the Georgia House of Representatives 
from January 1953 until his death in, in July 1953. So you see, he was uh, in a, a politician. His son was a politician. Mm -hmm. He had a daughter. All right, his son had a daughter. Now, I don't know if she's, uh, you know, tied up into the politician, uh, and like have a has a seat or not. But obviously, the brother Van does. All right. So now everything that he's saying is obviously being pushed through from that lineage or from the mouth of that woman that he that he's laying with every right, night. Right. Because black man, what the hell this got to do with you? Right. This ain't got a damn thing to do with you. Mm. Support Israel. Well, where was where was the uh, Israeli support for your black ass? Right. Right. Since you the real Israelite. Exactly. Why didn't you support you? Hey, uh, but let's let's go back to the video. Play on. Now, like all of us, and as was just said, uh, my heart breaks for all the Israeli children. My heart huh? breaks. What? For all the Palestinian children, and my heart breaks. Hold on, you confused, for all bro. The Jewish American children who are now also living in fear. I oh. pray that every single hostage is released. I pray that. I pray that. They're all over the place, bro. Yeah. Bring them home. Yeah, right. Bring them home. <laughs> yeah, right. Bring them hey, home. look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And I also pray. I also pray that Hamas ends its reign of terror. I pray Hamas. So I pray Hold on. Forward. Pause. Hit the pause button. Pause, and brothers. I, pause. Pause. The New York pause. This brother confused as hell. All over. He hey, he prayed for Israel. Right. He prayed for uh, Gaza. He prayed for Hamas. The Israeli children, the Palestinian children, <laughs> the little Jewish children here in America. Yeah, who now have to live in fear. Right. This don't make no damn sense. That this, they be released from their captivity. This don't make this how you know. And what first of all, Lord they hearing your prayers. You the Lord is like your prayers are like you on a phone you on a phone with uh uh you know the court the the cell the the oh, right. the, the uh, phone booth. Right. He on the phone and the court pop. Right. right. They no <laughs> no connection. They no they no connection to it. The Lord the Lord is not hearing you, bro. All of this is being done for the real Israelites. Right. For blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians who have been uh, removed from their land and pushed into America, scattered all over the earth. You better, yeah, you better figure this out real quick and learn, brother, that you can't do nothing to stop this. There's nothing that That's no right. one can do to stop what's going on. Our job is to remember who we are within the scriptures and come back to keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Now, looking at the video, you see he shows up on the video with American flag, and the Jewish flag. These folks have been set up from the beginning to try to rule Israel, America, and now they want to take the rest of Israel from the Palestinians that are there. That's why they, that, that, this whole thing is a setup. They right. think they're doing their own thing, but they're actually doing exactly what God got them doing yep. according right. to the Bible. All right, give me Ezekiel. Yeah. Give me that in Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 10. Ezekiel 35 and verse 10. So he said, why am I here? Well, we're going we gonna to show you to make a fool of yourself. That's, that's what you're there to do, <laughs> to make a fool of yourself. Because there ain't nothing that you can do to stop this. There's absolutely nothing. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 10. Yes, sir. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 10. Because thou hast said these two nations. Oh, which two nations? Read verse 1. Yes, sir. Verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is Edom. Come on. And prophesy against it. And prophesy against it. Come on. And say unto it, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Come on. I will lay thy cities waste. So all of the everything that's happening right now with these cities being uh, destroyed, all of this is because of the Most High God. Read on. And thou shalt be desolate. And it shall be desolate. Read. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Come on. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred 
and shed and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. The real children of Israel, Edom, the so-called white man, mm -hmm. has shed the blood of the real children of Israel who are scattered amongst uh, amongst all nations today. They are not in the land. But you see, Van Jones ain't worried about that. Now, no, he, don't he, he doesn't no. care about he don't the care about the slave trade. Young black children and no. Hispanic children. Exactly. Like, exactly. Re read on. By the force of the sword. By the force of the sword, they have shed the blood of the children of Israel. Through slave trade, they have shed the blood of the children of Israel. Read. In the time of their calamity. Uh-huh. In the time that their iniquity had an end. That's what you was going into, officer. When right. our iniquity had an end, right. they furthered, they furthered the, 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 the evil oppression. that they was doing against us. Right. Read on. Therefore. As I live, saith the Lord God. God said, you know that's a black man right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I right, swear to God. Right. You know how it, black people were like, I swear to God. Oh, my mama. mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, as I live. As I live. Oh, my word, a word is bond, God said. Come on. I will prepare thee unto blood. Mm. I will prepare you unto blood, Esau. Edom, the so-called white man. Read. And blood shall, uh, shall pursue thee. Uh-huh. Since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Come on. Thus will I make the Mount Sierra most desolate. So, so we Mount Sierra is going to be made desolate. You all right, reader? Yes, sir. All right, you're a little choky over there now. Come on, now read. <laughs> Thus will I make Mount Sierra most desolate. Come on. And cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. So it ain't Mount Sierra will be made desolate by the Most High God. Read on. And I will fill his mountains uh -huh. with his slain men. Read. In thy hills and in thy valleys. And in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. So they ain't seen nothing close to what's going to no. happen to them yet. Right. This is worse. future prophecy. All of this is going to come to pass. Read on. Be I will make thee perpetual desolations. Uh -huh. And thy city shall not return. Read. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Come on. Because thou hast said. Here's the point right here with these two American, with the American Bro. flag and this, uh, 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 the this Jew, Israeli, Israeli Jew, Jewish Jew flag. Jewish Post that right? picture while you bring this uh -huh. up. Uh huh. Confusion. Right. Pull us up. Pull the brother up. Pull the brother up. Now, what we read, hold on. Pull the brother up. Yeah, Come on, on, IT. The there we go. Hey, y'all, the transition too slow. Make it a little bit faster or something. <laughs> right. So, we're looking at the screen. It says, when we go back to verse, let's see. Uh, about what he said about what he, what they've did done to the children of Israel. We're verse five. five. Read verse five. Yes, sir. Verse five. Leave them on the screen. I don't want to see me like Bishop said. Leave his. <laughs> leave him up there. Read verse five. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. So it's talking about Edom, the so-called white man, which is both of these flags. Right. Which is both of these flags. Come on. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. The blood of the children of Israel has been shed. That's the black man that's on the screen right, right. there. Mm -hmm. That's the brother that's on the screen. He is of the children of Israel. Right. Read. By the force of the sword. Uh-huh. The force of the sword when they murdered millions of us. Come on. In the time of their calamity. Uh-huh. In the time that their iniquity had an end. So read. Jump down to verse 10 now. Mm. Verse 10. Because thou hast said these two nations. These two nations. You got to stretch that. Read it again. Because thou hast said these two nations. What two nations? Mm. America. And I mean, Israel, Israel, and, Israel Judah. and Judah. And Judah. Come on. And these two countries. And these two countries, right. which is Israel and America. Come on. Shall be mine. They want it. They want it. They want it all. They want to take it all. So now they are trying to push Palis the Palestinians out of the little bit of the little section that they've. Uh, that they still occupy. That they, they still occupy. Right. Do we have those images? Probably not. Probably not. We probably don't got those images. Which one? The ones that uh, yeah, show, like show the blue areas, areas of Palestine, right? The areas where where the yeah. Palestinians where Palestinians occupy, occupy today, as as opposed to what where what they did occupy in the 1940s, I believe. That's yeah. from class yesterday. Yeah, That's it's crazy, cool. but because that read that part again, because thou hast said these two nations, these two nations, Judah and Israel, come on, and these two countries, these two countries, America. And Israel, mm -hmm. come on, shall be mine. They want to possess it all. They want to be the people of God. This is why they're going to reap more and more fire and flames from the Lord. Read. And we will possess it. And they will what? And we will possess they it. They say they will possess it. 
That's their mindset. But is he, what's crazy is they think that the thoughts they're having, that they're the ones coming up with these thoughts. Right, right. <laughs> they, they think that they are the ones that, that got these thoughts. Yeah, put, uh, put that on the screen. Put that on the screen. So, make it big, because I can't read. Yeah. Zoom on in. Yeah. So, in 1917, in 1917, the green represents what the were Palestinian the, the uh, Palestinians city. occupied yeah. in 1917. Right. 1948, in blue, is everything that the uh, Jewish, the fake Jews, Took have over. come and taken from the Palestinians. 1967, you see, it gets a little smaller. 1995, they got they yeah, they, they all read, jacked they up read part because of the Jewish military right. occupied that right. And then you see, look at 1990, look at 60, 1967 and 1995. You see how how the it's all sporadic, broken up. Yeah. yeah, sporadic. You know that goes back to the one video that uh, well, the dude was taking it. Well, yeah, house. Ex exactly. The dude was taking it. He, he house. said, "Well, if I don't steal it, somebody else gonna so steal it because right. <laughs> you ain't gonna have it no right. more." Right, right. So this is the. These prophecies are coming to pass in our face. Mm -hmm. In our face, we're watching this thing. You got you about to say something else? Hey, if we had one for 2023, be all blue. Oh, I'm telling you. Right, right. I'm, exactly. telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You don't need one for America because you know what that is. Exactly. So these two brothers are obviously confused as hell. One wants us to support Israel. The other one says support Gaza. Let's see what they played in one video. Yeah, with the sister. With the sister. With, with the lady. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that one right there. While the black solidarity goes on, it would feel quite relieving, on the other hand, hearing this from a Palestine woman which has gone viral on the internet. Palestinians are racist to black people. <laughs> and if you look around, it's black people that are out there advocating for the rights of Palestinians. Pause. And you know what? That's bad because <laughs> that means that the influence that Carnell West has right. is effective. Mm. It's that leaders. That don't make it, it's just it's crazy that you could just fall in line with that thought process. That means that his his campaign has influence. Yep. Right. Play on. Be a lesson for Palestinians and the Arab community in general to stop being racist towards black people. Because when she hits the fan, it's black people that come out and they fight for the oppressed. Allah says he will not change a people until they change themselves. So if you're there making da saying, oh Allah, why are the Israeli soldiers um, racist to the Arabs and they're doing all of these things to the Palestinian people and you can't understand why this is happening, then look within yourself. You as an Arab, you as a Palestinian, you in your own family, how many of you are racist to people that are black Palestinians? Even broader Muslim communities, from Pakistani communities to Bangladeshi communities, Moroccan, Libyan communities, the Gulf communities. How many people say we are Muslim and in the same breath they mistreat other Muslims because of their skin color or their country of origin? While the you can't make this stuff up. You see how right, these people are? That's right, Bishop. That's right, Bishop. <laughs> That's right. Hey, what's crazy is she mentioned Libyan, um, uh, what's it, Moroc Moroccan, Moroccan, Moroccan mm -hmm. Bangladesh. Uh, where our people are being, being enslaved to this very day right. by Palestinians or, or, or Arabs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's amazing that we're able to get this information and push to our people the truth, but these false fake leaders can't find this information right. to stand on to teach them and tell the people. No, they like, got right. the information. They got the information. They just, they just. I don't think they got it, bro. I don't think they got it. I do. I think they just dumb as hell, and they, <laughs> they. I think they just dumb as hell, and they keep their mind occupied on policies and uh, uh, procedures for other people. For other people to keep things set up against us and further our oppression through. Right. The mouth of uh, of the the woman yeah. that he's sleeping with, right? right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Van Jones said it just ain't in the algorithm. Uh, it's not in the algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and with that, with that, what our leaders are doing, they're bringing confusion. Get First Corinthians 14 and 33. Mm -hmm. What our people need to understand is that confusion does not come from the Most High God that you see in our leadership. It's there to divide us and ultimately conquer us and keep us destroyed. Yep. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 33. Go ahead. For God is not the author of confusion. So, most, so not right there you're seeing confusion in regards to which paths our people need to take politically or spiritually. The, 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 the lady talking about Allah and Islam. So now some of our people might think that Islam is the way and things of that nature. 
that's complete confusion. Our people need to know that when there's confusion, that is all Satan. Mm -hmm. Read. But of peace. He's all about peace. Read. As in all churches of the saints. And we know that the saints are the children of Israel. We need to be concerned with our own people, our own issues, and ultimately the repentance of the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans right. and coming back to our nationality. That's what our leaders here are not pushing. That's what we are pushing here. That's what the prophets are pushing, though. Yeah. Hey, you had a scripture earlier when we was talking. That was in Timothy's. Um, two and three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bring that thing out, too. That go right along with where we at. Right. Second. Second yeah. yeah, I think it's verse, uh, yeah, verse four. Mm -hmm. That's what you want, officer. You got it, officer? Yes, sir. All right, read. Second Timothy, chapter two. Your mic, your mic is off or something. Yeah. Second Timothy, chapter two, verse four. No man that warreth entangled himself with the affairs of this of this life yeah and that's our problem we want to get involved with our, everything that's going on in the world and ignore the plight that's going on with our people right, right. we see the sin the killing the murdering we see the prostitution all the things that's happening to our people and we just ignore that mm -hmm. you know we'll turn the blind eye to that that's not our cousin out there selling drugs on the corner every day that's not our cousin sitting there shooting up the block that's bringing mm -hmm. violence to our communities. But we worried about what's going on with the other nations, what they got going on. Right. They, they over there doing real fighting, real wars. Hey, we ain't even got no part of that. And we shouldn't have no part of that because we are in captivity to those nations. Right. To both of them. Right. right. Those yeah. are our enemies. And we sitting there crying for them. Right. Read. That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. We've been called to be soldiers of the most high. We got our own war. You understand? And that's what we got to realize. We got to come back to the most High's laws so we can arm ourselves with the weapons that we need to bring down our enemy. Right. Right. Look at that Candace Owen thing where she talks about the she brings up scriptures and they call her anti-Semitic. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. For dealing in the scripts. Right. So, so it's like, <laughs> oh, gosh. Y'all got that? Y'all got that? All right. All right. Hey, pause on that. Pause on that. We're going to take uh, we just hit. We just hit our, our, our yeah, the sneeze. Hey, it's all good. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna take our quick break and then we'll be jump. We'll jump right back in. All right. Hey, come here. We will work with anybody in form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. This is a revolution of justice. This time that we live in, the greatest I've ever met, revolution. The spiritual and physical revolution. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 
Yeah, I We're living the book of the acts. I carry my cross in my back. My homies so stuck in the trap. Go hard and no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. Been patient through all of my woes. Been patient through all of my woes. And I'm out here painting this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I've seen some examples. So I think it's just about time now. To break the old habits and clean all the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life gives us lemons, we turn into vengeance. We're strong in the Lord and His might now. All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same. All the wisdom I've been given has been open with the pain. And the people that I love, they think that I've gone insane. Religion, it's only a few to stay true and some tripping. Danger if you got no clue when you slipping. It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the one set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I move with no vision. I'm moving like fell to my mind steady swimming. And yes, we are changing our life now And when life gives us lemons, we turn into vengeance We're strong in the Lord and His might now All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same All the wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain And the people that I love, they think that I've gone insane When it gets pretty, you look at real if you pull up and show they fail It's only a few to stay true and some tripping Danger if you got no clue when you slipping It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning Cause we the one set apart from the beginning Oh, that is filled with the thing that's forbidden Walking in life and I move with no vision I'm moving like fell to my mind steady swimming Oh, And yes, we are changing our life now And when life gives us lemons, we turn into vengeance We're strong in the Lord and His might now All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same All the wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain And the people that I love, they think that I've gone insane When it gets pretty, you look at real if they pull up and show what they fail It's only a few to stay true and some tripping Danger if you got no clue when you slipping It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning Cause we the one set apart from the beginning All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden Walking in life and I move with no vision I'm moving like fell to my mind steady swimming Oh,
I carry my cross in my back. My homie's still stuck in the trap. Go hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. Been pacing through all of my walls. Been pacing through all of my walls. And I'm out here painting this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I've seen some examples. So I think it's just about time now. To break the old habits and clean all the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life gives us lemons, we turn into vengeance. We're strong in the Lord and His might now. I just cannot stay the same All the wisdom I've been given Has been helping with the pain And the people that I love They think that I've gone insane When it gets pretty and look You really feel it Pull up with you on they fans, yeah It's so blood in my veins, yeah I cannot stand to complain, Straight to the religion, it's only a few to stay true and some tripping. Danger if you got no clue when you slipping. It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I move with no vision. I'm moving like fuck to my mind steady swimming. Oh. Chit, 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 chit. There you go right there. We back, we back, we back. Back with the, what's the topic again? Confused yeah. false Fake. leaders. That's what it is. Yeah. I think. Confused false leaders. So we're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we left off at, uh, my mic is a little, I had to adjust to my sound just now. We left off talking about Carnell West and Van Jones. Jones. We both, we can see that they're both uh, confused as hell. They don't know what to do with the people. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't know, have a di no direction for the people. They have no answers for our people. But the answers are right here in the Holy Bible. You got to follow uh, Israel United in Christ if you want to get the in-depth uh, details of the Bible of what we should be doing in these last days and who we should be following. But we got another sister up that had some uh, beef in the media uh, uh -oh. over the last few days, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. Uh, Candace Owens. Candace Owens. And you know, we, you know, bitch, like Bishop say, hey, she's our sister. We love the sister. <laughs> yeah. But she confused as hell. She don't know which damn direction to go either. Yeah. Not right. You know what I'm saying? She is, our people are lost in the sauce. They ain't got a clue. So let's see what Candace is talking about. Let's see what her retribution was about. Play Miss Candace. She was tweeting from the Bible. Um, it, right after this whole thing was blowing up. So she tweeted, blessed are the peacemakers, for they should be called the children of God. Blessed are they, which are perse persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And she went on um, in a, a thread. Her second tweet was, Christ is king. So the kind of cryptic message there is, you can interpret that in a lot of different ways. She said you cannot serve uh, both no, money and God. Go ahead, go ahead, please. She's, she quoted that too. Yeah, so she keeps going that's and getting, says, that's, no that's, one that's can getting, serve two masters. Either you will it. hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. Again, quoting from the Bible, she says, you cannot serve both God and money. And so I think if I were Ben Shapiro, I'd probably interpret that as an anti-Semitic mm -hmm. trope. Stop, stop, uh, stop, in stop, the that, stop that. How is that anti-Semitic though? Right. And they, they, they're laying the foundation now for... Now, she she's not... She doesn't believe in the same ideology. She doesn't have the belief system that we have, but we do deal with the scriptures. Right. right? So her quoting those scriptures, evidently, this Ben Shapiro brother got cut. Right. He got <laughs> cut with the scripts. And now she's considered anti-Semitic. He's given her all type of grief and things of that nature. It's the same thing that the, the scribes and Pharisees did to Peter and the apostles when they tried to teach Christ. Get that in Acts real quick. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter... Um, there's a couple of instances. I want Acts chapter, do the one in Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Because our, our people need to, especially us as, as the prophets that go out and teach this gospel, we're going to teach the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy before you get that? She finding out real quick. Right. Hey, she getting that nigga wake up call right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She finding out real quick that you can say a lot of good things about black people and these folks, well, they will agree with you. Esau will agree with you as long as you are talking about your own people and you got something to say against them. 
hey, we in 100% agreement with you. But the elite that allows you the platform to be able to speak about that, mm -hmm. when you say something against that, oh, you a, you a nigga like them now. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. don't forget that you a nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Ross. Okay, read Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Yes, sir. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Really? Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John. They saw the boldness of Peter and John. Read. And perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. They didn't go to the same schools of, of learning that, that, the, um, that the Jews went to. Go ahead. They marveled. They marveled at that thing. Now, of course, Candace Owens is, doesn't represent us at all. Right. Right. But those precepts and those scriptures cannot, they do not go out void. And it cut Mr. Ben Shapiro uh -huh. when it came to blessed are the peacemakers. You can't serve God or mammon. Right. Oh, my God, she's anti-Semitic. Read. She's Semitic herself. Thank you. <laughs> Read on. And they took knowledge of them uh -huh. that they had been with Jesus. That they had been. This is Christ's words coming out. Read. And there's power behind those words, whether they, they want to, whether Candace Owen believes it or not. Right. Read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. Read on. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves. Now, right now, these Jewish people, they're conferring among themselves because they know the Bible is about to come out yeah. and deal. They ain't worried about Candace Owens. Right. right. They're setting the platform for when we are out there right. teaching right. this gospel right. and right. bringing right. these scriptures out. Yeah, exactly. So that Ben Shapiro, he knows what he's doing. Read. Saying, what shall we do to these men? What are we supposed to do? Go ahead. For in that. Indeed, a notable miracle have been done by them. The miracle now is that you're seeing the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans wake up to their nationality and change their lives. It's a miracle that there's no more single-parent households in our community. It's a miracle that men are actually getting up leading their community based on the same writings of Christ that Ben Shapiro called anti-Semitic by right. Candace Owens. Read. It's manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem. And what can they not do? And we cannot deny it. So now what are they trying to do now about this? Read. But that it spread no further among the people. Candace Owens, shut your mouth. Nobody bring out no scriptures on social media when it comes to this Israel and Hamas nonsense. <clears throat> Read. Let us straightly threaten them. We're going to threaten you. We're going to take your money. We're going to take your position. Read. Yep. That they speak henceforth. To no man in this name. Don't speak no more in the name of Christ. Don't quote Christ in the scriptures. Don't bring that out or you're going to be deemed anti-Semitic and an enemy of the world of, of the Jews, right. the, the Jewish people. Right. My question is, how is that anti-Semitic? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. How is it? <laughs> she was quoting the king of the Jews. Matthew, exactly. Matthew 624. Like, how is that anti-Semitic? But don't the Jewish people believe that Christ it, is in and dung that, and Kabbalah and things bro, of that nature? Exactly. Wow. That's they what don't I'm believe going. in Christ. They don't believe in Christ. They don't they, they don't want to believe in Christ purposely because to believe in Christ means that he had he's going to return. And redeem the Jews. <laughs> redeem right. the Jews. The real Jews. Right. And America's a Christian country, so to speak. <laughs> right. These but, folks, these folks ain't got a clue, man. Hey, hey, was that was that it on uh yeah. it was another point? No, that was it. That, that was, was it on her? who else we got on the, who else we got on this reel right here? Because we've been talking about these leaders because in the eyes of the community, Candace Owens, in the eyes of the black woman, she she, she gives she gives <laughs> the, the black woman a platform. Women? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Dave Chappelle, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave yeah, Chappelle, yeah. yeah, yeah. He got, yeah. Bring Dave Chappelle up. Bring, <laughs> bring the comedian up. Put him on the, yeah, put, yeah. put him on the screen. He had his time in it. He had, you know, Dave Chappelle is all right though. You know, he yeah. been getting hatred for years. <laughs> <laughs> for years, he'd have been booed and ran to Africa, came yeah. back like he, like he, he's been getting it for years. So, for him to be in the media is not a, uh, it's not a new you know, thing. It's not a new thing, but you know. Apparently he's in the media now for what? And some more, so some more anti-Semitism uh, acts, tropes, as they say. Right, right. Y'all got that? Yeah, bring him up.
Comedian Dave Chappelle was reportedly booed and jeered after he derided Israeli airstrikes as war crimes and criticized the suppression of pro-Palestinian speech during a set at TD Garden in Boston last week. The Wall Street Journal first reported that fans walked out and an audience member yelled at Chappelle to shut up after he said he didn't believe open supporters of Palestine should lose their jobs, as has been reported widely. In turn, Chappelle criticized Israel's decision to cut off food, water, electricity, and supplies to Gaza and accused the IDF of committing war crimes against civilians. Now, some audience members reportedly later posted online that Chappelle's comments made them feel unsafe. Robbie, are you surprised by this? Dave Chappelle has been defended. Hey, 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 Why pause. is everything unsafe? Right. Because hey, God, no, everything unsafe. Hey, uh, uh, you know what? I don't think they should have shut the water off. I feel unsafe now. Hey, but you, right. let's, let's think about it. Hey, get that in Luke chapter 21, mm. verse 21. Did they? How did? How do you think they got the land? Right. How do you think There's they got no the right. land? <laughs> right. They did the same damn thing. Hey, first, first, give me. Uh, I think it's Matthew uh, uh, eleven and verse twelve. The kingdom of heaven suffer violence. Yeah. Matthew, read that eleven and verse twelve real quick. Matthew eleven and verse twelve. These folks are some damn hypocrites and imposters, man. Read that. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 and from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence uh -huh. and the violence and the, and the violent take it by force the violent took the kingdom of heaven took the land of Israel from the Israelites by what reader and, and the violent take it by force they took the land by force go to that in Luke chapter 21 start at verse 20 Yes, sir. Luke chapter 21, verse 20. Hey, do y'all have uh the uh Babylon the Timbuk too? I know I'm throwing I know I'm popping this on you, but like Mr. Say, you got we 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 gotta get a folder. We gotta get a folder. Grab yeah, you can grab yours. We gotta get a folder and, and, and uh store these things in it. I want that Babylon the Ten Buck two page uh about Titus Titus Vespasian. Yeah, yes. yeah. We're gonna read that script again one more time. I know I pulled I pulled the scripture on the fly. I wanted to be able to read the Bible, but we're just gonna break this thing on down. Come on, read it again. Luke chapter twenty one verse twenty. Come on. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. When did this take place? This took place in seventy A.D. When you had the Roman, you had Titus Vespasian and the Roman army surround Jerusalem and destroy, mm -hmm. take the land. That they're in right now. They th this is when this is how they got the land from the jump, and now they're talking about oh, Dave Chappelle, you you should you, you can't be in agreement with you know uh, the thought pattern of us cutting off supplies and, and and water and food from Gaza when they did the same thing to us. Mm -hmm. right. They cut they, they they stopped our water supply. Yep. They stopped the food from coming in to the yep. point where we were eating our children. Our own children. Yep. Read on. Then. Let them which are in Judea flee to the mountain. So this is when we flee into the inner parts of Africa, what's now known as Africa. Read on. And let them which are in the midst of it uh -huh. depart out. Read on. And let not them that are in the countries enter there into. Read. For these be the days of vengeance. These be the days of vengeance. Come on. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. Come on. But woe unto them that are with children or with child. And to them... That gives suck. Read. In those days, for there shall be a be great distress in there the land. There shall be great distress in the land because why? Our food was cut off. Our supply was cut off. Our water was cut off. Come on. And wrath upon this people. And wrath amongst this people. You got something? Hey, I got this. We don't have it in Babylon at 10 buck 2 yet, but get Judah chapter 7. Go ahead. Because Esau, they've been practicing this. These these are acts of war, and they understand that from, from the beginning. And by Esau, you mean Amalek, the, the, same, Am Jew, the same Jewish people? Esau is Amalek. <laughs> now, Judah chapter 7, they were, they were trying to find a way to deal with the Israelites when they were at war. Mm -hmm. yep. Right? So get verse 8. Read verse 8 real quick. Judith chapter 7 verse 8 mm -hmm. Then came unto him All the chief of the children of Esau All the children of Esau The chief of the mm -hmm. children of Esau Read And all the governors of the people of Moab And Moab read And the captains of the sea coast And said Now they're about to give counsel to Holophanes And how to, oh, how to deal with, with the children of Israel How to defeat us Read right. Let our Lord now hear a word That there be not and overthrow in thine army. Read on. 
For this people of the children of Israel do not trust in their spears. Go ahead. But in the height of the mountains wherein they dwell. Go ahead. Because it is not easy to come up to the tops of their mountains. Read on. Now, therefore, my Lord, fight not against them in battle said, array. Don't, don't fight against them in battle array. Read. And there shall not so much as one man of thy people perish. Go ahead. Remain in thy camp mm -hmm. and keep all the men of thine army. And let thy servants get into their hands the, fo the fountain of water. Get into their hands the fountain of water. That's mm -hmm. the same thing they're doing right now in Gaza. Read. Which issueth forth of the foot of the mountain. Go ahead. For all the inhabitants of Beth Bethulia, Bethulia. Bethulia mm -hmm. have their water thence. That's the complete water supply that's going into that, that landmass. Right. Read. So shall thirst kill them. So shall what? Mm. Thirst kill them. So it's an act of war. They're at war. Read on. And they shall give up their city. Mm -hmm. And we and our people shall go up to the tops of the mountains that right. are near and, and will camp upon this the same this is Esau talking now he's right. using that same yeah. war strategy right. that you're about yeah, to read in battle against the Palestinians, against against the right. Palestinians now read uh -huh. to watch that none go out of the city read so they and their wives and their children shall be consumed with famine with famine mm -hmm. that's what Dave Chappelle is speaking against read and before the sword come against them go ahead they shall be overthrown in the streets where they dwell. That's it on that. This showing that their their right. war tactics have been right. there since since back then, right here. Hey, yeah, that's cold nope. blooded, bro. That's cold blooded, right there, bro. All praises to both side. Hey, do you got that? Finally, your, we're gonna mark your book. We're gonna mark your book up yes, for please, you, please, officer. Please, we'll you. mark it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. All right, read <laughs> that part. Let me see. Now, in the year six five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that. In the year sixty five B C. The Roman armies under General Pompey con uh, captured. captured Jerusalem in 70 A.D. General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. So this is what we're reading about in the book of Luke. Come on, uh, in Luke chapter 21. Come on. With great slaughter. Uh huh. Great slaughter amongst our people. Just like you see they are slaughtering Gaza today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they slaughtered us back then. They right. didn't have missiles. That was, with, well, that was with pure sword. Right. Read. During the period of the mil of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed. It says during the period of the military governors of what? Palestine. <laughs> these people always recompense. These, these people that and these people ain't got no no idea that what's happening to them now is retribution for what they did to us. Right. Right. <laughs> Read on. Many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. Who are those people? Those people are our people. Right. Mm. That's our people. When we was in the land, they did this to us. Come right. on. That's During the right. period of Pompeii, uh -huh. Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, uh -huh. fleeing from Roman persecution. Fleeing from what? From Roman persecution. So these Romans who are Esau, Idumia. Amalek, yep. these same these same Khazars, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Is what we what we, who we who we had to run from into the inner parts of Africa. Come on, in slavery, the slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. It was full of what? Black Jewish slaves. It should say it was full of black Jews. Right. Right. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? It right. was full of black Jews because the real Jews are black. That's right. Great. These are the real, these are the ones that they uh, 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 removed from the land and then inserted themselves in the land. Right. Read on. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So he's reading Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight and sixty four. Come on. From the one end of the earth even unto the other, and the, and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. All right, that's all. That's it on that. You can drop that right there. So when we read in the book of Luke chapter 21, you know what I mean, in reference to what Dave Chappelle said, they're right. against Dave Chappelle because of what he's... You did the same damn thing. They've right. been doing it for years. <laughs> and doing it for, right, decades. That's... Uh, Centuries. How can I say it? <laughs> that's crazy. Right. <laughs> that's Nobody crazy. had concern for those war crimes that came against our people. And they still don't give a damn about they the war crimes. They don't give a damn that, that, that they have committed the war crimes against you, to, against us to take what they currently have, right. what they have in their possession. They ain't saying, well, you know... Uh, <sighs> 
we took it from them, so you know it's obviously we that somebody's gonna take it from us. God is gonna take it from you. Right. right. We hey, there's nothing you can do about it. God is going to take back the land and give it back to his children, give it back to his That's heritage. Right. And then you can do about it. You can be mad at Dave Chappelle, you can be mad at Candace Owens. We don't give a damn about what Carnell West saying. We don't give a damn about what Vancouver is saying. Van Jones. Right. Man. Look, hey, <laughs> Van Coon. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it don't give a damn. Somebody said it earlier. Everybody crying over the genocide of Gaza, mm -hmm. right? But everybody about to celebrate the genocide of the Israelites Ooh, on Thursday. In a couple of days. Oh, on a wicked Thanksgiving. In a right. couple of days. That's ain't right. no, look, ain't nobody crying ain't over about the that. Israelites right now. They ain't not, crying not, about that. Not our precious hey, they about to, they thinking about that damn uh, turkey and the cranberry. It represents our death. Right. And, it, right. and the cranberry, uh, what, what's it called? Sauce. Right. Cranberry sauce and the stuffing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the, and the the bull, the bull, what they say, the, 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 you know, here in and South the Carolina. The sauce is the blood, but yeah. ain't yeah. that like solid? That's not Yeah, but see, liquid. Negroes, Negroes made the, the turnips for money. Right. <laughs> yeah, the uh, yeah, collard yeah, greens. Yeah. Collard greens. <laughs> collard greens. They got, yeah. got, they put collard greens with the meal because the collard greens represent money and the, yeah. and the, <laughs> Black eyed peas represent the pennies. Niggas, y'all, you crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? All, the, all of your brothers and sisters that was murdered, that genocide. No gonna, one's talking about We're going to celebrate that. Van Jones ain't talking about and, that. And that's our leaders, though. Uh, but they uh, indigenous. Uh, Cornel West ain't talking about that. These brothers are jacked up. Let's, hey, give me Jeremiah chapter 14. Je this, is, this, this is what's going on. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Oh, you can start at verse 1. Come on. Yes, sir. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 1. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the dearth. Uh-huh. Judah mourning. The Jews are in mourning. Come on. In the gates thereof linger. That's our leadership. The leadership is lacking in the black community. These coons are not leaders, man. Right. They ain't got no clue on how to direct the people and give the people the sense of what they should do in these last days. If you're looking for leaders, you need to look up Israel United in Christ. Follow Bishop Nathaniel on all social media platforms. Follow the Israelites. That's what you need to do if you're right. looking for real leaders in your community. Read it again. Verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof linger. Come on. They are black unto the ground. Read. And the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. So the gates languishing. That's our. That, that's Carnell West. Mm -hmm. That's uh uh. Van Jones. That's Van Coon. Right. Van Coon Jones. <laughs> Candace. Candace Owens. Owens. They even look at Dave Chappelle as a leader. Yeah, they, they, right. they listen to what he's saying. Exactly. These folks ain't got a clue about what's going on, man. They don't have a clue. You know, y'all got. Come on, y'all yeah, got yeah, something. Yeah. Bring it up. You go ahead. Let me get Isaiah nine. Let me get Isaiah nine real quick. Cause that's the state of our people and the most it's a judgment from the Lord that we have these confused leaders right now. Mm -hmm. And we got to turn back to him. Read verse 13. Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter nine, verse 13. Go ahead. For the people turn not unto him that smite. Right. We don't turn to the one that actually has us in this condition. Hosea five and 15 tells us, you know, in our affliction, we will seek the most high early. Mm -hmm. Our people still is not resonating in our ears yet. Read. Neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. We're not seeking the Lord of hosts. Read. Therefore, the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail. He's going to tell you what the head and tail is in a little bit. Read. Branch and rush. Go ahead. In one day. Read. The ancient and honorable, he is the head. The ancient and honorable, he is the head of our people. And the most I said, he's going to cut them off. Read. And the prophet that teacheth lies, he is the tail. So we're getting it from all aspects, from political aspects and religious aspects every every part of us now we that's the leaders that we have today read for the leaders of this people caused them to err they got us yeah. erring all over the place we're going in all different directions mm -hmm. and all of the directions is error because it's not after the lord of hosts read and they that are led of them are destroyed and everyone that follows these leaders are completely destroyed today mm -hmm. completely destroyed today that's them gates languishing yep what hey, get uh, get Jeremiah, Jeremiah three fifteen, mm. Jeremiah three fifteen, because it's, it's leaders that were sent. And they don't see the world don't see us as leaders. Mm. They see us as niggas. Oh, mm. and it's how they see us. Bring it out. Right? But that's because we don't. We're the we're all of the gay clothing, all of the jewelry, Bald head. all go to all your doctor schools, have all the best jobs. They so they don't see us like that. So let's read that though. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. Uh -huh. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. So God has pastors set up that he's chosen. He didn't choose these men, these confused brothers.
He did not choose these confused sisters. The heck wrong with y'all? He did not choose them. He chose us. Go ahead. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's what we've been doing. We're trying to bring those solutions to our people to give you the knowledge and understanding on what's going on in earth today. And not to get caught up in all the dumb stuff that's going on with these other nations. It ain't got nothing to do with us. Mm -hmm. right. All that's we got to right. do is repent. Now go to 1 Corinthians. Go 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse uh, 20, 20, uh, 19. Start at 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19. Uh -huh. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise uh -huh. and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. That's why they don't know what that's the heck going that's on. That's West. That's why they don't yep. know what the heck that's going Cornell on. That's what we said exactly. all day. They don't know what's going on because they think they wise according to this world. They get their wisdom from everybody else. They ain't going to the Lord for no understanding. No. Nope. And that's what we doing. We go to the Bible for the understanding. That's why we understand the whole setup. The alley-oop they throw, and then they come and grab it and dunk and try to give a dumb solution. And that solution is, is what they done created anyway. They created the problem to bring in the the fix that they've been planning the whole so, time. So they can play the hero. So Exactly. Mm. So they can play the hero. Go I'm ahead. The, I'm the hero. I'm the hero of the of the confusion that I caused. <laughs> right. <laughs> the hell is this? Go ahead. Verse 20. Where is the wise? Uh-huh. Where is the scribe? Uh-huh. Where is the the, the Disputer of this world. Uh -huh. Have not God made fullest the wisdom of this world? That's why you got two brothers. One say join uh, Hamas, Gaza and them. Mm -hmm. And then you got another brother say, hey, let's join the Israeli. They fa they famished, bro. Straight mm -hmm. foolishness. Straight confusion. He's like, where's the smart people at other world? Exactly. Why they look so dumb right now? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Go ahead and read that. For after that. In the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Because they don't know God. We know God. Go ahead. They ain't got it, a clue. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. And that's who we are. Right. Everybody say we foolish for what we doing. They don't know nothing. Those just niggas wearing TF t-shirts, right. uh, all the different radio shows that we got in the whole world see us just as niggas when we're the only ones bringing solutions of our people on how we get saved. When all them bombs mm. that everybody get mad at America for, and they just lining them up, angling, ang look, shooting, look, we going to aim them right there at all these different coastlines in America. We're the only ones giving the solution on how to get out. And those, and, and that's going to be, that's the, that's, the, that's the sad part about those that get caught up in that wind of doctrine yeah. being pushed by them. And get that in uh, Amos. Give me Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. All right, Amos chapter 8 and 11. What are we bringing out? That these teachers, like that, not even teachers, these men that are being set up to uh, push propaganda and push doctrine in our community to get our people to follow a specific guide so that our enemies who have oppressed us all of this time can stay in the position that they're in. Meanwhile, we're staying in the condition that we're we're in. They're rising above us. Right. They've already risen above us, yeah. but they keep us suppressed, and they turn us into push buttons to give us, to right. continue to further their agenda. They give us football classics. Yeah, right. yeah. You, get, you get football classics. You get the Bayou classic. Sheesh. Yeah, you get the damn Florida classic. Yeah. What the hell is this? Read this in Amos chapter eight verse eleven. Yes, sir. Amos chapter eight verse eleven. This is why these men are, are in the condition that they're in, and you should not follow them. Read. Behold. The days come, saith the Lord God. I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread. Not a famine of bread. You got bread. You got food to eat. Read. Nor a thirst for water. Nor a thirst for water, because you got that. Come on. But of hearing the words of the Lord. Uh-huh. And they shall wander from sea to sea. See, this is this is where our people are at right, at right now. All right. And then the future. This is also future prophecy as well. Mm -hmm. But over 400 years, we have wandered in America. No God, no knowledge of who we were in, the, in, in this captivity. Yeah. Now the information is starting to come out. We're realizing that we're the Israelites. We're seeing that uh, uh, we, see, we saw our teachers. You know what I'm saying? Give me that in Isaiah 30 and 20. We yeah. saw our teachers and we heard the word of God. We woke up. Right. Now we're pushing this truth to them. But because they have been so uh, diluted. With false teaching, they quickly jump on the bandwagon of these brothers who are either right wing or right. left wing. Right. But it's the same damn bird. Right. It's right. the same bird. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like uh, the the wing. The, the bird fly with two wings. Exactly. <laughs> it, it, the bird ain't going two different. Yeah. One bird. It's it's the 
It got two wings on it. It's going the same direction. Yep, yep. It's just all set up to politically confuse us and to make us think and feel as though we have a a platform to say something and to keep right. us divided. Keep us right. divided, people, right? E yep. Exactly. Uh, get that in Yo. Isaiah thirty and verse twenty, real quick. Isaiah chapter thirty, verse twenty. Come on. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, He give us the bread of adversity. We we've been in this country that had the bread of adversity for over four hundred years. Right. We worked hard in the fields. We didn't come out the fields. We still busting our ass on these jobs, trying to trying to make a way. Right. Trying to make a way to the points whereas some of us get caught up in the in, in the mindset of being rich in this world. And not looking at the destruction taking place on the earth and questioning why these things are happening. Amen. We too focused on the money. Read. And the water of affliction. The water of affliction. We've had to bust our backs to get the water for of affliction. Amen. Read. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. God said, though I brought all of this upon you. Though I made though I made you, I put you in slavery and put those other nations over you and allowed them to oppress you. To starve you uh, uh, of bread and water and to take the knowledge of uh, of God uh, completely out of your mind. Now, when I send your teachers back, he said, what? Come on, read it. Yet with shall me. not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Says, Yet shall thy, not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Come on. But thine eyes. Thy shall, what? Thine eyes shall see thy teachers. If you're seeing these men that are teaching the Bible in this capacity on the earth, you're seeing them all over the earth right now. There's right. there's hardly anywhere. And if you got social media, you can't even you can't even run from it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't type in nothing about no type of truth, nothing about no type of uh history and not uh, not get a video of Israel United in Christ popping up running down your timeline. Mm -hmm. Right. Unless the algorithm Yeah, unless yeah, yeah, the yeah. algorithm <laughs> is not in control. Algorithm. Unless your algorithm is <laughs> yeah. being controlled right. the wrong way. But your your eyes are seeing your teachers, man. There's classes going on seven days a week, more than three times a day right. for the edification of our people so that they can come back, repent, and keep God's commandments. There's no excuse nowadays. Right. And that goes back That's to what you right. pulled in Corinthians. If you read, go back to First Corinthians one. Because what our people, if they really study the Bible or really want understand, they would read the Bible and understand what the most highest plan is on how he's going to yep. get our people salvation. Well, you pulled 19, right? Officer? Yeah, started at 19. Started verse 19. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19. Go ahead. But it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. Go ahead. And I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. The officer done broke that down. Read on. Where is the wise? Uh -huh. Where is the scribe? So now he's asking the question, where is the wise and where is the scribe? Right. Read on. Where is the disputer of this world? None of these people are, are taking a stance and disputing this world in general. They're right. trying to pick a side in regards to what's yep. going on. Right. right. Have not God made foolish the wisdom of this and world? And now you see our brother, every single one of them, Candace Owens, uh, Van Joe, all of them look foolish as hell right Van now Corn. talking. <laughs> Confused. Read. For after that, in the wisdom of God... Uh -huh. The world by wisdom knew not God. None of them knew God. And you can tell it they don't know God. Once we line the scriptures up to the nonsense that they're saying that we've been doing for over an hour now. Read. It pleased God Go by the foolishness of preaching. If our people had any type of understanding, like you brought out in regards <laughs> to them, teachers are not going to be removed into a corner anymore. If they read the Bible, they would understand that these are their teachers. And what are their teachers going to do? Read. To save them that believe. You want to be a it saved <laughs> black person here in America? <laughs> right. You want to get stop being persecuted? You want justice? You want peace? You need to follow the teachers and deal with the preaching that is coming out on those streets by Israel united in Christ. Instead of warring and entangling yourself with the affairs of the world. Exactly. Right. I got something on that. All right, go ahead. Then we got crucial content coming yes, up. Yes, sir. Ezekiel chapter 34. Yes, sir. Because what are those disputers of this world going to be doing? They're going to be correcting their people. So with uh, the scriptures coming out, we hope that Van Jones and Cornell West and our sister Candace Owens, that they repent. You right. got to say his name right, though. It's Van the Coon Jones. Oh, Van Coon. <laughs> Van Coon. Van right. the Coon Jones. But our hope in teaching this gospel is that our people repent and come out of the ways of, of America. All right. So go ahead and read that. Verse one. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 1. Go ahead. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Because in America, these people are being made to be leaders yep. of our people. That's right? what a shepherd is. Right. Read on. Prophesy and say unto them. Go ahead. 
Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds. Go ahead. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel mm. that do not, that do feed themselves. So what's happening is when the white man sends our people out mm -hmm. to feed our people this destruction, they're actually bringing upon themselves destruction. And they get paid. They get paid. They feed themselves. Right. They make that covenant with death and hell. Right. You know? Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? So they have this influence because they need they have an obligation to their people. That's what leaders do. They have an obligation to their people. Read on. Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. Go ahead. Ye kill them that are fed. Go ahead. But ye feed not the flock. So they live in high. He thinks since he got Jimmy Carter's granddaughter, he got something good. No, nah, he's actually <laughs> calling upon himself destruction and teaching yep. more and more destruction to his people. Read on. The diseased have ye not strengthened. Go ahead. Neither have ye healed that which was sick. Because this goes into solutions. This goes into the solutions right. that leaders need to bring. Read on. Neither have ye bound up that which was broken. Uh huh. Neither have ye brought again that which was driven away. Because it should, we should be teaching our people who they are and what God requires of them in these last days and giving understanding about how where we are in the times. Woo. Why repentance is Woo. necessary. Read on. Neither have ye brought again that which was driven right. away. Neither, Neither have ye sought that which was lost. You, you, you yes, jumped sir. over that. I, I read it again. I'm Go fine. ahead. Read it again. Read it again. Get it right. Neither have ye sought that which was lost. Go ahead. But with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. Because the white man is ruling through the mouth of the black man. Of course. And with cruelty uh -huh. and force, yep. he ruled over God's people. So that's what we're starting to see. Read verse 5. The point is there. Because this is how the black community looks after they hear the white man's rhetoric, see the black man with a white woman, get confused and all the media and uh, propaganda that's out there. Read on. And they were scattered. They were what? Scattered. All of our people are scatterbrained. One follow left, one go right. 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 <laughs> and there is no unity amongst our people because right. those shepherds that are given to our people, all they are doing is scattering our people. Finish that verse off. Because there is no shepherd. These people are not real leaders. Not the leaders that the Lord, like you brought out earlier, pastors according to the mind of God. Yep. And the real pastors are going to prophesy against these false, fake, confused leaders. Read on. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field mm. when they were scattered. So now we've become a prey to all right. of our enemies. Exactly. Where the bomb at, man? I don't know, man. We get, we get the no. bombs on the wrong all side. All praise to the most all high. All praise to the most high. <laughs> hey, uh... All right. Hey, look, let's get, let me get Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. I couldn't resist it. I'll bring it up. Bring, <laughs> bring it up. Bro. I couldn't resist it. We, Jeremiah we, we chapter 23. Night, we got all night. 23 and verse Don't 1. Don't resist the spirit. <laughs> Don't hey. resist it. Come on, man. Read, read that. Hey, read it right. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Bring it up. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. This is what go, it's going into what you what you was just reading. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They are scattering the people. Like you said, one, they don't know no they don't got no direction. Once they go left, the other ones say go right. We're telling the people, go with God, follow the commandments. Right, right. That's the straight path. You right. want to you want a straight path into the kingdom, then you should follow uh Israel united in Christ. That's, That's what you should right. do. Read on. Save the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Against the pastors that feed my people. Mm -hmm. Ye have scattered my flock. Hold on. But it just said, therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, you have scattered my flock. Are the people in uh, 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 Israel right now scattered? No, no sir. No. Not at all. They you know don't they find that nice. suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. That's crazy. Man. Hey, that's, that's crazy. crazy B. That's, that's crazy. crazy B. <laughs> Read it again. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Uh -huh. Ye have scattered my flock. So our, our, our people are scattered in doctrine and we have been scattered mm. across the four corners of the earth. Right. Read on. And driven them away. We have been driven away from the keeping of God's commandments. Read. And have not visited them. And nobody is visiting them except now in these last days, you have men rising up, the prophets rising back up, learning the word of God and teaching out. That's us visiting the people and giving them the understanding that is written That's in the Bible. Right. Read on. Behold, I will visit upon you. So God is telling these pastors, these shepherds, these men that are set up 
to 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 guide our people by our oppressor. God is telling them that what? Read it again. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings. God said he's gonna visit. You think God's are getting it, mm. and you think you're standing up talking about telling our people to be uh in in, in, sol in solidarity with Gaza or in solidarity with the Israelis. You think that you're not gonna have a part. In the destruction, you in the God the is not gonna hold you guilty for that. Yeah, you can judge me. He let Deacon ASAP say hey, it. You think God ain't gonna? You think God is not gonna hold you guilty for that? You going because you have sided with these people, you're gonna have part in that destruction. Mm. Read on. Saith the Lord, come on, and I will gather the remnant of my flock. That's what God is doing right now. That's what we should be doing as we look at the prophecies come to pass yeah. with what's going on with our people. We should be gathering the flock, gathering ourselves together. So you individualize out there. You got the damn devil on you. Yeah. You can't do this by yourself. Yeah. You can't read on. And I will gather the remnant of my flock uh -huh. out of all countries. Whether I have driven them. So God scattered us across the four corners of the earth. Now he's waking up, waking us up and bringing us back into the fold. He's going to bring us back together. Read. And will bring them again to their fold. Uh -huh. And they shall be fruitful and increase. No, one shall be fruitful and increase. And they. And they, and they shall be fruitful wow. and increase. Come on. And they shall be fruitful and increase. Come on. And I will set up shepherds. Where are the shepherds? The shepherds are... You're looking at the shepherds. That's right. right. The final trumpet. That's what you're looking at right now. TFT. You know what I'm saying? We are the shepherds. Uh, Patient Saints Radio, they are the shepherds. Uh, what We got writings on the wall. Yeah, that, they are the shepherds. All the radio the shows patient. put out by Israel United in Christ, we are the shepherds. Right. Read. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. And they shall fear no more, uh -huh. nor be dismayed. Come on. Neither shall they be lacking. We're not going to be lacking. Come on. Say of the Lord. Come on, read. Behold, the days come, uh -huh. say of the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. Read. And a king shall reign. Come on. And prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. This is what is being set up right now. The prophets, David is back on the earth. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> These prophecies are coming to pass whether you want to believe it or not. Which, which whether, right? whether you want to believe it or not. Bishop said he was one of the apostles. Right? Yeah, Bishop, right. Bishop said he's one of the apostles. He did say that. Mm -hmm. He did He, he did, did say that. Yeah. Which one? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Read down. Bro. Let's, <laughs> let's, read, let's, <laughs> hey, let's read on. <laughs> hey, let's, let's, let's read on. Right. In fact, you know what I'm saying? But no. These things are happening on the earth for the sake of the real Israelites, which are scattered abroad, brothers and sisters. We got to come back to the understanding that we are the people of God and that everything happening is for you. It's That's for you. That's right. Um, anybody, crucial content, yeah, man. Anybody else got anything? Crucial no, content. Got nah, I ain't got it. Go ahead. He said, no, I ain't got it. Huh? Well, let me see. And yeah, so you can the read piece that. that the black man looking for. Yeah, you can read verse that. Verse 6. Yeah, you can read that. Read <laughs> verse 6. It's the piece you need to hope in. Uh-huh. Verse 6. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Uh -huh. What? In his days, Judah shall be saved. Come on. And Israel shall dwell safely. So, hey, you looking over there right now? Israel ain't dwelling safety, bro. Right, right. They ain't dwelling safety. You but don't find that suspicious. Yeah, you don't <laughs> find <laughs> that. <laughs> you don't find this suspicious, man. Because they ain't they the not, real Israel. That, that, that's not the. They not the Israelites, bro. <laughs> they not dwelling safety right now. But what they're right. trying to do is heap a. Uh, 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 Bring bring everybody together on their side. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, they always gotta play the damn victim, bro. Right. They always gotta play like they're the ones that suffering persecution right. and going through the worst type of types of situation on the earth and ain't going through nothing. They, Give us them damn diamonds back. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. They said like the 43 or the 40 um, Jewish people that were killed early on in the yeah. war was equivalent to 9 11. Yeah, but right. Yeah, the numbers didn't even add up, like the American souls. Unbelievable. That was crazy, man. These people crazy as hell. Read verse 6 again. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. Mm -hmm. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. So, we have to keep the faith. Mind your damn business, uh, Dave Chappelle, Candace Owens, Carnell West, uh, Van the Coon Jones. Mind your damn business. Right. And repent. And repent. repent. Because our salvation is yet to come. All right. Uh so that's gonna that's gonna conclude the uh this portion, which is the whole show. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a crucial content coming up, and then we got missing persons. So uh go ahead and run that.
This is not a test. Warning. 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 Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Alright. So uh what we got here? So, Go ahead. Hey, hey, what is what is oh, Jesus what Christ. is this? Oh so, Lord. So this right here. Wow. This right here is where uh you got you got uh the the alphabet. Well this is right here is the alphabet brother. Oh Lord. <laughs> that is that is you see how tall he is compared to the woman just in the during before they hit play. Uh -huh. So he's trying to use the woman's bathroom and she got her daughter in there. And she's like, you ain't coming up in here. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going on right now. Okay. Hit wow. play. I, don't, I ain't familiar with this one. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I don't know what. No. I'm not sorry. You wish. You wish. On my birthday, baby. On my birthday. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Y'all have a problem with me in the bathroom? Good luck. Good luck. Hey, man. Use another bathroom. She's using another bathroom. There's a it's child a in there. It's what? Men. That's a child. You just say what you huh? That's a child in there. A okay. little girl. Like, okay. use the men's bathroom. Okay. I'm a woman. Unbelievable. What does it matter? <laughs> you, what does it matter? Y'all need to mind your business. Y'all need to mind your business. This is where world is coming to. Right. Right. I don't know what you're about to learn a lesson about. Man, you had a, man, you you had a children's what? park, man. What? Chill. What? What are you saying? It's a kid park, man. Yeah, do you even have any kids? Yo, right just the use, use the other bathroom, man. <laughs> y'all need Tell to mind your business, me. first of all. Mind your business before before y'all get included in some stuff you don't want to be included in. No, okay? you need to uh, go. You need to go. Seriously. No, no. My daughter has to go to the bathroom. I'm not going to allow you to come in the bathroom when she's going to use the bathroom. Man. Not the that is not going to happen. That's not going to happen. I'm going to... So this is the world we living in. <laughs> you Bruh. got a girl's bathroom and the brother looks sick like biggest darn uh Shaq. Uh what's the what's the darn brother? Shaquille O'Neal. Magic Johnson's son. Oh out man. Here. that's even worse. And, Big as he is, man. And that, that that deals with our people now. A lot of our people say, I don't care what you do and mm -hmm. I, I am they non judgmental. They, they in agreeance with it. They don't understand the spirit that comes behind that forgets homosexuality. This this foolishness. That dude is a big, strong, dangerous yes. person. Yes. Right. And he, saw, yeah. he threw the threat out like, you yeah. don't want to get involved in that thing. Get Romans 1 real quick, That's man. It, it is. <laughs> these people better understand the, the spirit behind these these sodomites. Sodomites is, is disgusting. It's crazy. Hey, they, hey, these, dudes are, they, hey these dudes be strong as hell. <laughs> And we'll beat your ass. Yes, too. they will, yo. And that woman, she, she talked tough. Yo, the black woman got yeah, mouth, yeah, but she, yeah. but she can't yeah. do that hey, with that brother. That if you really want to hey, do. I understand that you want to defend your yeah. daughter. You want to defend the thing, but when y'all them hands get to being thrown, yes, yeah. you gonna realize that there is a man. Yes, I, <laughs> right I mean, well, that's what she told him. He, she said, "You a whole man a whole out man, here. Man, you man. Is a whole man. <laughs> you a right, whole man. man out here. That's crazy." Hey. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, for real. Read verse 27. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 1, verse 27. And likewise, also the men, mm -hmm. leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in their lust one toward another, mm -hmm. men with men, working that which is unseen. Is unse the dude look ridiculous. Come on, First, man. Playing around, head. flicking like, the cat down in her, man. That almost looked like fringes on his vest. Yeah, I, I saw that. that. That looks kind of crazy. Read, man. <laughs> And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Yeah, he's getting that recompense now. Mm -hmm. He probably has an STD or something going mm -hmm. on with his yeah. lips. Something's going on with him. Read. And even as, <laughs> and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. That brother definitely don't want to retain God in his knowledge. Read. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Go ahead. To, to do those things which are not convenient. Right, now, the, un the inconvenient things, they people think it's just talking about right. homosexuality. <laughs> no, this right. is about for to go into a women's bathroom. Look at right. this. Look at the whole thing. And he literally on. said, he's a woman. Right. I'm a woman. And look what comes with Get it. Read on. Out of here. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Go ahead. Fornication. Go ahead. Wickedness. Go ahead. Covetousness. Mm-hmm. Maliciousness. Maliciousness. Read. Mm -hmm. Full of envy. Uh huh. Murder. Murder. These dudes are dangerous mm -hmm. people. Even when we teach at camp, the yeah. homosexuals are the most yeah. violent people on the planet. Yeah. Read. 
debate, mm -hmm. deceit, malignity, Read on. whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters. Inventors of evil things. That is an uh, evil mm. invention you're looking at right yeah. there. Read. Right. Disobedient to parents mm -hmm. without understanding. Go ahead. Covenant breakers without natural affection. Mm. Implaceable. Unmerciful. Yeah, unmerciful. So if that dude, spirit jump on that dude to really go ham on that lady and all the people trying to correct him, <laughs> he's right. going to be unmerciful with them mm -hmm. and beat the daylights out of them. Right. And that implacable right. goes into once they get started, it's going to be hard to stop. Can't stop you can't you stop. You see how many verses the Bible <laughs> used to explain how many spirits are in these the types of individuals. Yeah, right. man. Right. Bro, it's, I'm talking about whole verses 29, 30, and 31 is just full of the different spirits yep. that's in these people. Right. But here's the crazy, crazy part. I don't know if you're going to read down. No, good. The crazy part is. You got people. You got people who see this and they say, "Well, you know, I'm just my, I'm my own business. I don't care nothing about that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see nothing wrong with it." Right. Let's see what the Bible say. Read down. Who, verse thirty-two. Who, yeah. knowing the judgment of God, they know the judgment of God. They know that they're going to be judged for it. They don't give a damn. Read mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Uh huh. Not only do the same. Not only do the same, but. But have pleasure in them that do them. You got people out there that have pleasure in brothers that act like this, that has the spirit, that has these spirits on them. Right. And they don't think that they're going to be judged by, oh, because you because your cousin gay, you're like, oh, he gay, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm good with it. Long yeah. as you don't, long, long, long as you don't try me, especially, I'm good with it. Especially right. the black woman. Exactly. Right. So the black hey, look, women love these sodomites. Hey, pull up that bro. other video that go with this right here. Go up. Where it say in where where uh if you scroll all the way up it was right before today it was posted yesterday, but you know um our society is yep. pushing this lifestyle that down has... people's throat and every attribute that God gave about the homosexual is nothing but pure yep. evil. Right. That's how you know this society is completely gone and our people that support this is completely gone. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why when it says that deceit and malignity. I, the minds of our people have been deceived, and then that there deceit spreads like wildfire. Mm. It becomes infectious. They say, oh, it's okay until it affects their household. Yeah. Now, here go. Here go a clip right here with this Eating Mike talking about how the whole world is pushing this thing, and everybody are okay with this mess. Go ahead. So, let me just get this straight. In the last few years, a biological male has been named Woman of the Year on several magazine covers. A biological male. In order for that to happen, people got to vote. People send in votes and ballots and stuff like that on who should win this award. So people are voting for biological men to win women's awards. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, play the rest of the What as the top ranking female in our White House? A biological male was named the NCAA Women's on, Swimmer man. of the Year. A biological male is making tens of thousands of dollars being the face of womanhood for Nike, for Tampa for Bud Light, for Kate Spade, and countless other companies. A biological male took home the award for Best Actress at the Golden Globe. Are we that is. still trying to make the case that feminism supports women when the feminists are completely silent and or cheering on? Biological men taking over the space of women? There it is. spell this out for me. There it is. That's right. just like you said, the last verse you just read mm -hmm. on how they are supporting that crap and not saying anything or cheering them on, just like she just said. Unbelievable. Hey, you know, they had they got this thing out there called uh cisgender or what that what that what's what it's called? Man, I don't know what it means. Like, you gonna I know have to help got, me. They like, cis, look at cis, so it's so much I don't know what it means. What you are. Yeah. Like, cisgender is what you are by like. Like though they, they have this it's this I, it was a video, I can't remember where it said, but they, this man was insisting that you call him sis. And then the sister, sister was like, I ain't calling you no damn. I got to find it. <laughs> <laughs> the sister was like, I ain't calling you no damn. Since y'all out here trying to take the place of, yeah. of real women. Y'all y'all out here literally trying to replace the woman on the, on, on earth. You man. can't replace the woman, bro. Like, you cannot procreate. You cannot recreate. And yeah. the bad thing is the black woman makes their faces look like they paint their faces. Right. Damn. Hey, can I get a verse? I'm good. I'm done now. Yeah. Jeremiah 4, <laughs> Bring it up. 
<laughs> what you call Jeremiah. Jeremiah 4 and 22. Oh, praise. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Get him. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, we can't even pretend that we we intelligent. We did think. <laughs> right. <laughs> we can't even pretend. Right. We just damn foolish. Read. They have not known me. We know they ain't known God. No way in the world that a people that know God would be about transgender or be about homosexuality. Read. They are sottish <laughs> children. They shitty children. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Bring it up. <laughs> Get can't even make it real. more simple than that. Read. And they have none understanding. No understanding. They have no idea that we're in the last days and God is actually trying to save their soul by sending prophets out to bring them back to the Lord. Right. Read. They are wise to do evil. They wise to do evil. Hey, like you say, we got so many acronyms, we have no idea what any of them mean. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just lost. Hey, we, that's how far we gone because we know God. Read. Mm -hmm. But to do good. They have no knowledge. They have no knowledge. They, <laughs> they ain't got a damn clue. They think it's good to actually say, you know what? It's you be whatever you want to be. <laughs> right. They think it's good and teach hey, their why, children. Hey, why else. he had to touch me when he said it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Why, oh, why you? Why you had to touch me, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's crazy, man. But you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, amazing. You know, amazing that we have we, we're living in this time so we can read it out of the scriptures, line everything up and actually apply God's law so that we don't fall under the on the wrong side of the sword. Right. You know, what I'm saying with the judgment that's coming for our people if we don't get ourselves right. All right. So this has been another edition of the final trumpet. Uh, Lord's well, we hope you all got some out of this one and uh, we look forward to doing it again next week. In the meantime, uh, we got the missing persons. Let's go ahead and run that real quick. The missing persons. If you see these individuals, you know of these individuals. Uh, contact the local police department. Um, if they, uh, I think I, I know we have uh, the flyers, brothers going yeah. out on the flyers doing yeah, the flyer missions. missions. That's going you know on what I mean? All over there the is a contact number on there. If you if you see any of these uh, sisters or brothers of our people that are that are missing here in Columbia, South Carolina, so uh, we'll go ahead and run that, and then Lord's will, we we'll see you on the next episode. All right. My name is Officer Kalaya. On my right, Officer Aton. On my left, Officer You Want to On my so. far right, Officer You Want to Thun Yashara. And the far left, Officer Marsha. And we are TFT Radio. All right, we'll see y'all on the next one. Shalom. 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 You have to insert that one right there. Yeah. yeah. And yes, we are changing our life now And when life give us lemons, we turn into vengeance We're strong in the Lord and His might now All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same All the wisdom I've been given, I spent hoping with the pain And the people that I love, they think that I've gone insane When it gets pretty and looking really fit, they pull up and show out they fans, yeah It's so blood in my veins, yeah I cannot stand to complain, Straight true to religion, it's only a few to stay true and some tripping. Danger if you got no clue when you slipping. It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I move with no vision. I'm moving like flux to my mind, steady swimming. Oh.